Hi and welcome. I'm John and this is Equal Game Train. Guys, welcome back. For everyone that's new, this is the weekly Wednesday Wargaming Questions and Answers. It's an off the cuff video, guys. What that means is I record and upload. There is no fancy editing skills. You might see my intro somewhere at the beginning. I do have a transition button. So if there's noise outside of my control, I can stop filming, wait for it to go and carry on. You know, this is just sort of beginning. There's a little something flying in front of me trying to get a word of it. Anyway, these weekly Wednesdays are essentially a Q&A. You guys ask me questions and I answer them. It's primarily model focused, of which is primarily GW stuff. And it's probably 99.9% .9 of the time is 40k stuff. There is terrain questions from time to time that I just chuck in. And there's some information about myself and what's going on around the workshop. You know, rather than do a separate video and that sort of stuff. And we have a weekly vote. Now what the weekly vote is, I show you a host of models and you guys vote on them and whatever wins I paint on next Monday's painting video. So let's get on with some questions. Because some of you e guys are going to go, something's different here. Something's not quite the same. What's, what's going on? I wanted to move the workshop around. I said this you know, last week and I think the week before. And it's like, where do I start? I had an idea where I was going to start and everything else. And my friend Jack came up the other day and he wanted to you know, find out what lights were going to go up and everything else. And we had a conversation about it and I just said to him, look, let me move this first before I put lights up. Because I don't want to have to, you to put lights up and then for me to move the to, and it's not worked. And I'd rather move it first and then you can see what space we have. So today I was gonna gonna start doing some of it and do some do something else and you know do some of it, and then what happened is I was reminded this morning that they're doing something with the power lines today, so there's no power the whole day. So I was like, damn it! So everyone went to school, went to work, and I was here by myself, and I was like, well, there's no power. I can't watch telly. I can't you know do do PlayStation or do anything like that. I must start moving stuff around in here with no light, but I've got the light coming from the outside. So I started moving stuff around. I'm not even halfway there yet. But this beside me used to be behind me. And I've just put it that way just because it's going to probably go somewhere there, but just for the minute, just out of the way. And the, the, the shelving that I had beside me has actually just moved out that way a little bit. And I'll tell you what. There was a cabinet, a big metal cabinet, with doors that opened upwards, uh, sideways. That was behind the desk. With those things just moved, there's so much light here. Just absolutely like, wow. I don't even have the other light on, I only have one light on. So when I move this over there, it's going to be absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to have lights around the side as well. But that's, what's, that's why it looks different, because there's nothing behind me and everything else. Someone probably posted the chair straight. Where's, where's that pile of shame gun? This, this is weird. What's, what's going on? Talking of pile of shame, the pile of shame video that I, I filmed, I don't know, eight months ago, eight and a half months ago, is actually just blown up. It's a, it's a thousand views in the last, last 28 days. It said 300% three, uh, 300 views in the last two days. Wow. <laughs> so, you know, for everyone that's joined the channel from that video, you know, massive thank you to you guys. There will be an update on my pile of shame soon. I'm probably going to do it once the workshop's changed around because then I, I'm thinking about just doing it in the way of this is my pile of shame for Chaos Space Marines, this is my pile of shame for Aldari, for Necrons, so that you know, so you can actually see what I have rather than just have like um, how I did the first time, just flash through and showed you all these boxes, and it's like wow. Anyway, oh, and there's one other thing. Hmm. Better report the other, last week, I had uh. The ten corn berserkers, and then I had another ten corn berserkers, but they're from the the old box of twelve. I said, "I know I've got another box here, you know." So let's do it together, come around the house. I actually found two boxes today of the old ones. So there's twenty four more corn berserkers for me to build off camera, and I thought I had one box. So by the time I've done those, as well as the twenty that's on the table, and there's two left, two more left over from that for that old box. I'm going, to have to, I'm going to have to add four of the older ones to the, the, the six guys that are left. So we 50 corn berserkers. 
50. That's bonkers. I think they're 200 points for a unit of 10. But that's still bonkers. <laughs> oh my goodness me. That's, that's like a 1,000 points of corn berserkers. That is absolutely insane. My little brain's already thinking about 50 of them on the table. A couple of rhinos, maybe. Angron on the table. Um, maybe a land raider. A couple of heroes, maybe. Just, but that's bonkers, anyway. But anyway. Um, how do you pick your armies? How do you pick your armies for a battle report? Also, how do you know what to pick, what to get next to add to your armies? I had a question I asked about three or four months ago, I think. Um, in terms of when I pick an army, an army to go on the table, if it's an army that I have a lot of, like say Necrons or Space Marines, then I just what I think is going to win. What I think not not, not what I think is going to win, what I think I can use and try and use in conjunction with each other to give me different angles, like. For example, the um, having the fire strike team because they're brought on a four plus. Having a hammerfell bunker to you know go to look after the backfield objective. Now I did play um, the last time I played Space Marines was off camera. I didn't bring the hammerfell bunker because it, it's okay. It is okay, and it's a good deterrent, and it, it's good for certain things. But it depends what army you're playing. So if I'm playing against Space Marines, there's no point bringing because or Chaos Space Marines, there's no point bringing because they're quite high toughness, and uh, the bolt of rays don't want to do very much. If I play against someone that has a lot of tanks, again, it's not not great. If I'm playing something like Genesis of the Cults, or maybe even Tyranids, or Astra Militarum, this is great because they're only you know low toughness, or even Aldari or Dukari because they're low toughness. Um, <clears throat> but in terms of it all depends on what I'm who I'm playing against playing against Mark I mean what army he's bringing but sometimes but what we try and do is not have one person go this is my army and in three days later someone else you know the other person replies I try and give him my army and then he gives me his or he gives me his first and I give him mine so it's already ready but if I'm not 100% sure on what I have I always say look it's a rough roughly what I'm going to be bringing you know so um, if there's any changes I, I let him know and just what's changed but we try and we try and do that before maybe on a Sunday before we're playing on a Wednesday just it's not that we've spoken about that and that's what we're doing that's what just how it works um, what to get next see that's another great question because when I when I was playing with Necrons before with Alex and he was Space Marines one thing I noticed that the Necrons missed was like heavy units. I'm talking about Doomstalkers, I'm talking, you know, Tribe Destroyer and Silent King, you know, these big heavy units. Um Titan Shard of the Void Dragon. I knew that I could see that it was missing some big heavy firepower. Now I have some of that. I for the Necron army, I'm looking at like what 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 more could I get for that army to, you know, add to it? Well, I'd probably get another Doomstalker because you can have three in the army. So I'd probably get another one of those. But then I'm looking and thinking like a monolith or you know something like that. I've got Praetorian Guards and Lich Guards, I think they are, from the Imperial Magazine, which is a huge pile over here. And there's more. And there's more. <laughs> but yeah, you know, um, there's some Tomb Blades. I've, I've built one on camera before and I've got another two to build from that. But I'm not overly pop, not overly fond of to build them or the way they look. But um, yeah, that would be for the Necrons. It would probably be like monoliths or the um, obelisk. I think it's called for the Space Marines. Another land raider, definitely, definitely another land raider. I've got a predator here to build. Maybe you know a couple more predators or a couple of you know just a couple of variant just tank variations. Couple of rhinos, maybe. Again, the rhinos are not to be like. Not even, not sorry, not rhinos. Like an impulsor, you know, a couple of those. So they're not like to be the game winners, but they're to move certain units across the table, and you know that sort of sort of thing. Tyranids, well, Tyranids. I just need. 
I've got enough of the gaunts. Um, I've got enough Gen Cedars. For me, it'd just be some more warriors and some some my more biravores and some pyravores and some of the big big horrible creatures. You know, the, the Morlock is it? The one that comes out the ground with a big mouth on him. You know, a few of those and just a few big nasty nasty things. Now the old diary, I, I couldn't even tell you, but because I haven't played them on the table yet, I haven't played twos on the table either. But I, I sort of know what I need for that. But anything else I have? Well, world, world eaters, for example. I'll tell you what I need for those. I want a lot of skulls. I'm actually thinking of trying to kit bash one. So you know, but again, get this sorted first, then I'll be on to that. Well, a lot of skulls and maybe like um, a couple of rhinos to move the berserkers across the table, because that'd be great if they move across the table, come out, they're shot at. Blood surge makes them move closer. You know, we could probably take the objective <laughs> without you know you actually even trying to get to your objective, and then it's your turn, and you you get points. You know that that kind of works in my head. I mean, it's, it's still an army. I, I enjoy playing them. Really enjoy playing them. I didn't realise how great they are on the table with the the blessings of corn roll until you actually rolled it. And it was like, oh. And I think the first time Mark was saying, well, why don't you take this one and that one? And I was like, yeah, actually, that's, yeah, I, I was thinking of this one, but I didn't realise that one as well. Yeah, yeah. And then the second time I was like, yeah, well, I know what I'm doing. I'm doing it. And it's actually, I actually like that. I know some people say, but the Eldari are pretty much the same because you have the 12 dice you at the beginning and then you are fake dice. And the sisters have their, um, what are their dice called? I can't remember what their dice called now, but they have a certain amount of dice they roll at the beginning and they can swap them out as well. Which is, uh, yeah, I've gone off topic, sorry guys. Um, any of the Christmas boxes spark your interest? Not really. The only two I would be interested in would be Orcs solely because the kill rig is like 100 euros, 110 euros, but the box, of, the actual box, I think it's 170 euros or 180 euros when it comes out. That's from GW. If you get it for a third party, you'll get it cheaper. But I'm like, the kill rig's 100, 110 euros. That's, that's great. The, the guy on the on the Squisaurus, fantastic. But the rest of it is like, okay, it's just background noise. Doesn't you know? Doesn't jump out at me. The um, Ashton Militarum one now. I look at it and go, oh, two Rebel Dawn battle tanks. That is a steal. And that is going to fly off the shelves. That is going to fly out so quickly. What's the other one I saw? I can't remember the rest. Space Marine ones. If you want to add to bulk Space Marines, then yeah, great, it's going fantastic. But when I look at this year's ones versus last year's ones, last year's ones were absolutely fantastic. So if you're new to the hobby this year, you missed out last year. Absolutely fantastic. The ones last year, the Death Guard with Mortarion and you know all those guys, the Thousand Sons one was actually fantastic. There were two on my list to get. The Knights were actually your top of my list as well. I missed all three. I got sisters. <laughs> but I'm not complaining because sisters are great. And with the Imperial Magazine, like a nine par paragon war suits. That's you know. But anyway. I don't I don't I can't even remember. The League of Voltan one, again, I Mark plays League of Voltan, so you know, uh, it doesn't really interest me. I like playing against them, I think the models are cool and everything else. But it doesn't it doesn't jump out at me. Um the Orc one, really, and the Astro Mediterranean one is probably the only two that really stand out to me. But I wouldn't be... I wouldn't be as upset if I missed it as I was last year when I missed all three of those ones. You know, I was like, really annoyed, but I wouldn't be upset if I missed them. You know, I I, I may not even... I may not just let it pass because for me it's not. Now, if you're actually... If you're actually thinking of a world eater army, yeah, the blood angel, the red angel one is absolutely fantastic one to get. Absolutely, that is absolutely fantastic. 
but it's not, it's not worth coming to me because I've got Angron. The rest of the guys are fantastic, but look at the the cost of it. You know, to have Angron that I, I can't use, it's not really gonna. It's not really worth me, you know, buying it. But if you're thinking of a, a you know, a world in one, that is that is where to go. First that is fantastic, absolutely fantastic. There's Angron. I think it's is it ten berserkers, or is it twenty berserkers and two units of eight bound. But the eight bound can be used can be built as exalted eight bound or normal eight bound. The difference is the I think they have better stat lines, better attacks. But the exalted ones can deep strike. The normal eight bound they can scout. So like in the battle report we had, I had him in, had him in the land raider. And I hit the land right away to try and stop the firepower coming against me. If I would have got the first turn, then I would have scouted forward and then burst them out. You know, but yeah, it's, that's a good one to get if you're if you're thinking the world it is. Did you get did you find out what's wrong with your airbrush? No. I was gonna change the fuse today, but you know, my infinite wisdom, I thought oh, I'll change that fuse. Yeah, yeah, see what see if it's working. There's no power, so I can't see if it's working. So I haven't I haven't touched that, but before I move this desk over, I do want to try and get that working again because that's I, I, love, I really love the airbrush. It's a really, very handy tool. If you don't have an airbrush, guys, it is worth getting one. Even if you get like a, a, a cheap one with a little compressor, it is worth getting one because they're so, so handy. But I think the, I think the fuse is gone because the plug socket works because I plugged another light into it, but it's not getting power to the airbrush. So I think the fuse has gone. That's the only logical thing for me. Um, what are your thoughts on the new Necron plus Admic combat patrols? Well, well, I'm actually more excited about these than I am than the Christmas boxes that they release. That they're going to release. That's what. That's being honest with you. Um, the Admic one, yes, I want. I want to get that. But what I want to do first, because these are combat patrols, these are going to be here in four months' time, six months, a year's time, they're still going to be around. So what I want to do is, I want to try and get my hands on one or two of the old combat patrols for Admech. Because they have the Doomcrawler. Doomcrawler, I think they have an engine seer in there, which I have that model here. I think there's 10 Skatari uh, Rangers. No, three Catapan Destroyers. Or Catapan Breaches, or whatever you want to call them. But I think they're Destroyers, but you can make them as either. Same as the Rangers. They're Rangers, but you can make them as the Rangers or, or the, you know, the Vanguard part of whatever they are. If I get a couple of those, and then the new Combat Patrol, that's going to be absolutely fantastic. Because that would be a huge Edmund Army straight away. Um, the Necron run, run now. No, I will. I'm, I'm going to get a Necro one. I actually like that. I like the old one because of the Doom Scythe and all that. And I think the old one had uh, five uh, Immortals and five um, uh, the guys of the Rifles. But it doesn't matter because they that box comes. You can make up them into either. But the new one I do like. I can't even remember the rest of the stuff that's in the new one. I know Doomstalker's in it. That's why I was like, oh, I can get that. Um, I just Scopic Destroyers in it, I think there is. And some more Necron Warriors, I believe. And the HQ or something to give them. But anyway, yeah, I, I'm definitely getting one of those because that's my Doomstalker. So I can have three in the army, so that's the third one. But for me, that I'd only be able to get one box of that because of that. Which is a pity, but talking of Necrons, I have a little surprise for you guys. It's very nice, this one is. Because we're in November, or it's Necron over, or whatever, the, whatever everyone starts to call it, I actually have the Illuminar here to give away. Now again, like the um, Gilliman giveaway, I'm going to give this, do this giveaway across the whole month of November. 
announced the winner at the beginning of December. Now I've done I've done a um, a less build on this model. So and it was before I built the Simon King, this was the hardest model I built. So when I say that, you know, if you have a Necron army and you don't have this guy, you know, come in for it, you know, because even if you don't build it now, you build it in three or four months' time, it is a difficult model to build. Okay. Now I, I might make it look easy on the when on the let's build. And the let's build there is there to help you and, and guide you at you know very to do things. But it is a it is a difficult model to build. Yeah. There's all the parts for it. Absolutely is a difficult model to build. Um but how to go into the giveaway for that? All you have to do is comment below. Let me know do you're interested in the model, you subscribe to the channel, you're interested in the model. Smash a thumbs up on this on this video. Um, and I'll also probably later on in the week, probably tomorrow or even the next day, do another video, just a quick, you know, five minute video, just doing that giveaway again. Because not everyone watches these videos, but they watch other videos. Um, and I'll also be doing that on TikTok as well and doing YouTube YouTube short over it as well. So just to let everyone come and have a look at it and see what's going on. So that's all the questions I have today, guys. What are your thoughts and comments on the, uh, the new Christmas boxes? Are there any that you're interested in? You know, just, you know, and your thoughts on the new combat patrols, the, the Necron and the Edmund one. Now, I, I actually like the new Overlord that's coming. I can't wait for that. I can't wait for, I think it's later on in this month. I think another week or two that you can pre-order the Necron stuff. And I, I can't wait for that. Now, when this is all finished, Marcus actually said to me to play, uh, he, that we can play a 3,000 point game. Which, because it's November and it's Necrons and um, Necrons are coming out, that's what I'm going to be using. So, you know, this... I, I'm not going to tell you what Mark's going to be using. He's already shown me his army list. All I can say to you is, I think there's four tanks there. Four tanks and heaps of other big, big things. It's going to be, it's going to be a proper slobber knocker compared with the Necrons getting sharp and get back up again. And, you know, all that business reanimation protocols. It's going to be interesting to see the new rules and how that works. But anyway, what I'm going to do now is bring you down for the vote. Now, how to vote? What what is the vote on? How does it work? I show you host of models, and you guys comment below on this video what you want, what goes what wins your vote for next week's next Monday's painting video. You can vote you can vote for more than one thing, but don't say I vote for everything because it won't count. But you can say, right, I vote for any of the Chaos Space Marine stuff, or any of the Eldari stuff, or any of the Space Marine stuff, or you know any of the Necrons, or any of the Tyranids, or you know any, anything like that because it will count. There is also a wild card. So if the wild card wins the vote, you know, you'll find out what it is when it wins. And there's a creator choice. If that wins the vote, then I decide I just pick a model up and that's the one I want to paint. So I'm going to bring you and show you the models. One last thing is if you're not sure what it's called, just give me a brief description of it. Okay. Don't say it's the third one up on the left hand side with the Okay, just give me a brief description. So I'll give you a look at this. Look at, look at this. Look how amazing that claw looks. <laughs> there's, there's only one light on this. I, it's bonkers how this is. But anyway, this is the Illuminar. Just so you can get a good look at him. This is the model I'm talking about in case I'm, in case I'm not saying his name right. Okay. So we all know who he is now. Right, so let's go through the models. We have eight bound. We have Ultron from Marvel Crisis Protocol. We have a Scorpion Destroyer Lord. We have a Space Marine Captain. We have the um I can't remember these quizzes name. I built her not so long ago. Drax Draxus or Draxas or something like that. We have a Shield Captain. We have the Eldari Farsia. We have the Saboteur. We have Deathwing Knights. 
we have the Esmodi, the Chaplin. We have the Warp Talons. We have the um, Dark Opposite. We have Chaos Space Marines. Gen Steelers. The Blade Guard. Blade Guard Champion thing is for the Custodies. We have the Fire Strike teams. Now, I know you can see my chapter colors are already on there. Just I try to get ahead of myself because there is a pain in the backside to do. We have the Jackals. We have the Magus, which is a fantastic sculpt. We have the Eliminators. We have the Primus. We have the Nero Tyrant. I thought I'd leave him in again. And we have the um, Connected Doom Stalker. And just like that, the rain's coming down. <laughs> so it's a good thing I'm going to finish because I hate when I'm trying to film when the, you, all you can hear is rain outside. So there's the models to vote on. Like I said, you've got the other two options to vote for if you want. The Greatest Choice and the um, Wild Card. Had a, a brain fart then, don't know why. If you have any questions for me, just chuck a comment below and I'll answer it. I'll give, I'll give you an answer straight away if I think you need one. Or I'll, I'll answer it next week Wednesday. Now there is no silly questions. You know, don't think people are going to say you if you ask a question. No one's going to... No, everyone here does... It's not like that. Okay, this community is actually amazing. Yeah, we do have a few assholes here and there, but this community on the whole is amazing. If you don't feel confident enough to message below, you know, you can message this other way that a lot of people, a lot of you do. Go onto the Equal Game Train Facebook page. You know, I don't go in there. I should be going in every day, but I don't. Um, there is a messenger button there. You can message me directly and buy a messenger. Okay. So if you're interested, like I said, if any questions for me, check them below. So I got a bit close there. <laughs> I just looked up and said big my big face says, oh my god, my um yeah, check on message uh, check on below, you know, if you wanna ask a question. Give me your opinions on the this year's Christmas boxes and the two uh, Comet Patrol boxes that are coming out. If there's a, is there any of the Christmas boxes that you're after. If you're interested in the giveaway for November. Then comment, make sure you subscribe and comment below. Don't forget to vote. Everyone, uh, if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Costs you nothing. Turn your notifications on so you see everything that goes on here. Everyone smash the thumbs up button. So that triggers YouTube share this video with more and more people. And make this community of you amazing people grow even more. Which is, you know, I, I want. And the channel's growing every week channels ground more and more and it's just absolutely massive thumbs up to all of you guys because you're absolutely fantastic um and i'm glad i'm glad when i do something and i get the comments that i get and uh you know and it's really good for me you know it really makes me feel really positive inside and just it makes me try and go the extra mile do an extra little bit for you guys you know if it's even if it's from like I can't, I can't stop looking at Gaz's claws. You know how how simple that is, and how amazing that looks. Down to the um, brain fart time, Mister Man, and how amazing he looks. Just simple colours and simple way of doing things. You know, it, it means a lot to me. You, know, you guys comment and you guys vote and you know all that sort of stuff, and you support the channel the way you do. So, guys, hit the buttons for me. Until next time, don't forget to vote. Take it easy, guys.